Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how a change in DNA structure may result in a change in the protein synthesized by a gene. And this is for triple biology higher tier only. In the last video we saw that the base sequence of a gene determines the amino acid sequence of a protein. Once a protein is formed it folds into a unique shape and the shape of a protein determines its function. So in this video we're looking at how changes in the base sequence of DNA affect the structure of proteins. The first key idea that you need to understand is that a change to a base is called a mutation and mutations happen all the time. I'm showing you here a section of the bases in a gene and the amino acid sequence that this encodes and the protein has this shape. In this DNA sequence a single base has changed in other words, a mutation has occurred. However, as you can see, this has not changed the amino acid sequence. That's because different base triplets can sometimes encode for the same amino acid. So in this case, the mutation has had no effect on the protein's shape or function. And in fact, most mutations have got no effect on the function of the protein. This DNA sequence has a different mutation. In this case, the protein now has a different amino acid and this change has altered the shape of the protein. Now this kind of mutation can have a dramatic effect on the function of a protein. For example, the active site of an enzyme may change shape, so it can no longer attach to the substrate. If a mutation changes the shape of a structural protein, such as collagen, then it may lose its strength. So we've looked at mutations in DNA, which codes for proteins. However, chromosomes also contain non-coding parts of DNA. These regions switch genes on and off. In other words, these regions tell genes when to produce proteins. Now, mutations in these non-coding regions can affect how genes are switched on or off. For example, a gene may be turned on when it should be turned off. In this case, the cell would produce a protein that it's not meant to have at that time. This could have a very significant effect on a cell. For example, uncontrolled mitosis leading to cancer. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on mutations in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.